here's the handover on the Bailey Autograph 745. So starting from the outside we've got the entrance door, diesel filler cap, the rear locker area which gives you access to underneath with your carpets and additional cushions. At the rear of the vehicle we have your bike rack. Tow bar on this particular model. Your toilet set. Your rinse tank, which is a separate one on this particular unit. External aerial point. Gas locker. And your main plug-in point. Underneath. The driver's side rear wheel is your grey water valve, which you'll need to open and close when you're using the vehicle for your wastewater. And then on the passenger side, you've got your bonnet release catch, which you pull down to open access to the bonnet. Your vehicle battery is located just underneath the cupboard uh, in the floor here. And the seats adjust just with the two little levers to adjust the front to lift it up and then the back to lift that up and down. The bonnet itself just releases with this little lever here and it has a stay to keep it in position. The main things really are your windscreen wash, oil, dipstick, and then you have a positive and negative point just located here if you want to jump start the vehicle. The wing runners themselves are manually pushed in and pulled out and they will electrically operate inside through the controls. So before we move in you can see there is a bin on the door, a blind and this model also comes with a flat screen. So moving inside to the vehicle you have your main control panel. You have a master on, which tells you it's either on or it's off by pressing the button. You have your light button. Again, it's telling you on the control panel that you're putting the lights off or you're putting the lights on. Same with your awning light for outside, on or off, and the water pump on and off for the fresh water. You must have your water pump on to be able to prime the vehicle once you've filled up your fresh water tank. So at the moment, we're going to turn that off because we've no water in. The controller at the side is for this particular unit as a habitation aircon unit. So there is instructions in the manual, pretty simple on and off and turn the temperature. That is located just here, which also has controls just here to turn it on and off if you want to do that as well. The control at the side is for your heating and your hot water. So this particular model has the ALDA system. You're pressing the menu button to basically give you most of your options that are available. Top one, you press to change the temperature that you want it to be in the vehicle. Second one down is your water. So it gives you the choice to put it on high or on a normal position when you're wanting to heat your hot water. And the th third option with the little Lightning bolt at the side is for your wattage, for your electric heating for both the water and the, and the heating. So you can have it on one, two or three kilowatt on this particular one and it lights up green when it's active. And then the bottom one is for your gas, whether you want it uh, on or off. Anything that lights up green is telling you that it's on uh, with the fuel uh, options or blue if it's off. There are more options in your settings but please refer to your handbook on this particular one. To turn the unit off you must press the button and then it turns off the unit. Before you do this though please ensure that the vehicle uh, is full of water and that you purge the water from your fresh water tank through into your boiler. So on this particular model it 
the boiler is located underneath the bed. And the most important thing that you need to do is the little yellow toggle valve at the bottom. When the vehicle is in use, it must be flat down. And when you want to drain the water out of the boiler, you simply just flick that button up. So it's down to be in use and flicked up to empty it. If you do forget, water will come out underneath the vehicle. And you'll quickly remember that you forgot to close that valve. Underneath the bed are your carpets and your access point from outside. Your centre rafter for the awning, which is just the silver pole just down here, which locates in the middle of the awning. Again, revert to your handbook for that. And you have got your table just locates there to store where for travelling. The bed itself just lifts up and stays on a gas strut. When you want to push it back down, simply pull it down and it lifts back down. In the rear area, you've got storage above. And to open the cupboard, you simply just pinch it, which releases that little paw fitting underneath there. And then you'll hear the click when it's closed properly. This particular model's got a TV bracket in the rear and plug sockets just high up. It comes fitted with a microwave, which will only operate on mains. And then it's got the selector fridge. So the up position is off on this particular model. Flick it to the mains electric and inside you will see that the unit lights up. It's a good indicator to tell you that the unit's on. If you are running it whilst you're traveling, you will need to flick it to the battery and that only works when the engine is running. It doesn't work when the engine is turned off. And your third option is gas. So you'll see the gas symbol underneath. For this, you might have seen this on other videos, you need to press it and hold the button in there and press the igniter in until you see this little orange dial move into the green area. Once it's lit and it stays lit, it'll go in the green. If you lose gas, the orange little indicator will move back into the white area. So that's a good sign to tell you that it's working. And that is both for your fridge and this particular one has got a large freezer area. To turn the unit off, you simply flick the dial back to the top. Moving forward at that, you have a point which you can take the TV bracket from the rear to fit it onto the front. And you have 12 volt and main sockets available here, as well as an aerial point. In this particular one, you have an extra main socket fitted in and the plug socket there for the uh, microwave. And you have a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide detector. Moving further forward, you have an awning pole to open and close the awning, which is just nicely located there. Then you have lounge area so these are the makeup cushions which allow you to transform the L shape at the front or simply just have it as it's laid out here with the traveling seat belts so you've got two traveling seat belts there driver passenger and these simply swivel by pulling the lever back towards yourself swiveling the seat around being careful that you move it forward and backwards and then it works like that and when they're both done, they will look just like that. Cupboards all around. So again, fire extinguisher just in that cupboard there. Empty cupboard. And then empty cupboard. And again, making sure that you hear that click. Cupboards on the driver's side, just for all your belongings. And a good little one to point you on the Bailey one is this little switch here, down below, behind the driver's seat. That's your heated fresh water tank switch to turn it on and off if you're using it in cold conditions. In the front area, just in front of the forward facing seats is your main electrical box with all your fuses, trip switches, and everything that you'll need to know electric wise and another main socket for you to use if you're plugged into mounts. You will also see that dotted around the vehicle, there are several little grids and this is where your heating is distributed throughout the vehicle using the Aldi wet central heating system. In here is your 
uh, Aldi fluid and that will run between minimum and maximum you must check it while the system's fully up and running so give it a while just to check that it's up and running to temperature and then check that that's running between maximum and minimum if it's not then please give us a call and we'll advise you the right way to do from there bathroom area quite simple you've got mixer taps so again when I show you in a minute how to mix it you'll turn it to hot open it up and then turn it off you must have a steady stream of water first of all which means that you will have pulled it through your boiler once it's running as a steady stream then you can go to your uh, Aldi controls and select whether you want to heat up the water toilet pretty simple you've got a flush button and an indicator to tell you when it's full it lifts up will swivel round to the position you want and you've got your blade valve now to pull your toilet cassette out it must be in the closed position as it is here to open it you press the button towards the shower unit which then opens it and then again pull it back to close it to allow you to pull it out for cleaning quite a good shower area again we mix the tap shower roof lights fly screens and blinds on all the windows and you've got your light switch just there there are several light switches throughout this vehicle and you'll see that they're dotted around the little lights underneath at the back have little rocker switches that just turn them off just there so the hatches on the floor this hatch here is for access into your wastewater tank if you want to put anything in to clean it you take the red top off screw it off and simply just put some liquid in to clean it otherwise you'll drain it through the grey valve that I showed you on the outside of the vehicle the one in front of it is your fresh water point and to drain the tank simply twist the lever there and you'll see just in the tank there there is a bung an orange bung you simply pull the orange bung out to empty the tank and then push it back in to fill it up just as we've got here so forward of that under the hatch there is a separate lid and that's where your leisure batteries are located this particular one has two leisure batteries fitted to it now in front of that underneath the seat you have got a storage area just there simply rocks up and pushes in you must make sure that these buttons are all pushed in before you're moving off and that also applies to the kitchen drawer and the drawer next to it as well as your big storage unit there cooking wise this one utilizes both gas and electric they're all designated to the points there the furthest left being the electric the other ones being the gas and you've got your oven uh, oven and your grill with an igniter for all of those please ensure that the grill's left open when you're using it but pretty much like your domestic cooking units at home above that you've got another couple of units for storage and you've got a double socket in there so i mentioned earlier about purging your water so once you've filled up your fresh water tank you need to turn the tap to hot which you'll see it's marked hot and cold with the little red and blue symbols and you turn the tap on until you get a steady stream if it if you've got air in the system then it will spit and spurt out you must run the tap with the pump until it's a steady stream then you know your boiler is full, filled up if it's not then you've either left a drain valve open or you've just got a bit of air you need to run it until you've got a steady stream and please do that on both the kitchen and the shower and the bathroom taps once you've done that then you can go to the heater controls that i showed you earlier in the video so at the front of the area pretty simple to make up the bed you pull the passenger side seat base out and then fold down the table which has got a little knuckle just at the bottom there that you just press the button in and that gives you the double bed area at the front the 744 when the table is in place will look like that and it simply hooks onto the rail by tilting the table up to remove it and slipping it in make sure it is locked in place in transit and you can travel like that alternatively you can set it up 
with the little L-shaped seating area for more room when you've got people just like that. And again, fly screens and blinds are all included in it. They're the same on the roof lights. So again, fly screens and blinds just pull together. And on your front window, they utilize the Remis ones, which pinch together and close. Cab area, you've got your radio, your heater controls, passenger airbag, gear lever, this one being a manual. Steering wheel controls and your reverse screen monitor. That concludes the show out for the Bailey Autograph 745. I hope you find it useful. If you've got any feedback, queries or questions, please give us a shout on our landline number on 0161 797 2988. Thank you.